<laughs> All right, we're going to turn our attention to the women's game now. The Southern Stars have had a great start to their international season with three straight T20 wins over New Zealand, as our reporter found out, Melinda Farrell. Uh, the Aussie girls certainly have some friends in high places. Cricket has never just been a man's game in Australia, but from the first test on the Victorian goldfields in the mid-19th century to today's elite players, a few things have changed. With more televised games and rising profiles, the current stars of the women's game are appealing to a new generation. This season, with the World Cup on the horizon, Cricket Australia has launched a fresh marketing campaign directed at the youth market, featuring Australian captain Jodie Fields and dual football and cricket international Elise Perry. I really want to, I guess, uphold the traditions of cricket and in a lot of senses sort of do proud the people that have played before us. Society's um, changed its view of female athletes and I think that's really healthy. I think um, there's terrific opportunity for um, people that are playing elite sport to get in magazines and to go and promote their message and it's just wonderful that, that the Australian team can connect with, with the younger generation and, and that's a great way to do it. One of the Southern Star's biggest fans is the Governor-General, Quentin Bryce, who has possibly the most picturesque backyard pitch in the country and hosted the Australian and New Zealand sides ahead of their T20 and One Day International series. Of course I've played backyard cricket, my grandchildren play here with me uh, and uh, I play uh, on the beach and uh, follow it, uh, particularly the uh, women's game. Well, it's significant that there are so many young girls here today because this is actually the fastest growing group in cricket in Australia. Each year, the numbers go up by more than 20%. And there are changes at the top too. Former international Belinda Clark now runs the Centre of Excellence in Brisbane, while current international Lisa Stalaker recently became the first woman to be elected to the Australian Cricketers Association. Oh, look, I, I think it just shows that ACA is committed to supporting women's yeah, cricket yeah. And, and they're fair, fair dinkum about it and uh, hopefully I'll be able to, to help the women's game through that role but also the men's game. Lisa is one of several New South Wales players in the Australian squad. This year, past and present players received the baggy blue, another first. To have all the past players there, um, we had uh, Lorna Thomas, who's 94 years of age, um, and to see her wearing the baggy blue, that was pretty special, and to be acknowledged with some of the legends of the game and my, you know, the heroes that I looked up to um, was very special for me. T20 has given the women's game more opportunities to show their talents to a wider television audience, a shorter form of the game providing an ideal TV package. Good players playing T20, which is on television, I mean, that's the combination we need to then attract the next generation of kids to play cricket. But as with many elite female athletes, the biggest challenge is breaking into the mainstream media and moving away from comparisons to their male counterparts. I think it's, I think it's a comparison that we need to get beyond. Um, I think female athletes in this country have got some tr terrific attributes that need to be um, acknowledged on, on their own. Um, we don't talk about um, the hockey roos and compare them to kookaburras. We don't compare the Matildas to the socceroos. But for some reason in cricket, we keep coming back to this comparison. So I think we're getting to the point now where if the game's um, got exposure, that it can be appreciated for what it is. What I can tell you, I go to the back of the newspaper every morning and turn the pages and, you know, we're seeing Sam Stosa there present and uh, some of the tennis champions, but on the whole there's uh, very little of it and it's key. One day it'd be nice to play like the, the guys do on television all the time and I guess have professional contracts, but, you know, at this stage we're very well supported by Cricket Australia and I know that they're trying very hard to, to help our game go forward. 